Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar. First thing, if you are new to the channel, I would request you please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming innovation update or update on Test Case Studio, Slackter Sub, and the new tools. Another thing I would request you if you haven't taken this Slackter Sub certificate yet. Please go on to the selectors of website and take the selectors of certificate from here. This is absolutely free and very, very useful. You will learn a lot of new things about XPA, selectors, and new concepts about automation. So please go and take it. Almost everybody has taken it. If you haven't taken it, take it now. Now, coming to the test case studio. Test Case Studio is a platform to record the user actions performed on a web application in plain English sentences. It will also generate the XPath and automation code for every user's user action. It will also generate the CSS selectors. User can save and copy these recorded steps and lot more things you can do with the Test Case Studio. What is the need of Test Case Studio? And what was the like idea behind to innovate this tool? So you know that uh, like in most of the time, we as a testers and developers used to keep uh, like keep discussing and debating that this is not my issue, this is your issue. You have missed something. Where's the documentation? Like, can you show me that what you have tested? Or like if developer has explained to tester that this is what you have to test. In general, like hardly we used to do the documentation while explaining each other in reality. So in that case, like uh, Slackter Sub, uh, in that case, Test Case Studio is going to help a lot. Like this will automatically record those steps, those test cases while you, when you will be doing the functional testing so like as a developer when you will be doing the functional testing you can start test case studio and uh, share those steps with the testers as a tester you can start test case studio before starting your testing and then those test steps you can save and share it with others that these are the steps you have followed to test this uh, functionality also like if at certain point of time you get an issue then you hardly be used to remember those steps so in that case these steps recorded steps will help you to reproduce the bug so test case studio is huge huge useful and has a huge value to reproduce the bug and then if you get any production issue in that case like this helps a lot for the documentation so whenever you get a production issue you can easily show it to your manager that you have tested this functionality, this feature when it was in pre-production with the recorded steps from the test case studio. So it is going to save a lot of time for you and it is going to create a huge, huge value while doing the development and software testing. It's very easy and very straightforward to use. It's so simple. Just a single click is required from your end and you keep doing whatever you were doing before and rest of the thing Test Case Studio will do. So let's see what all things you have to do. It's very simple. Just come to selectorsup.com website and here you will find the Test Case Studio tab. For whichever browser you want, you can install it, say for Chrome. So I have already installed it. So here you can, let me just install it and show you how you can install it. So just click on add to Chrome, add extension. It is added successfully. You can click on this. Also like you can see that it is, it runs offline. So this is absolutely safe and secure. You can also check the privacy practices. You can see that publisher has disclosed it will not collect any of your user data. It's absolutely safe and secure. Cool. So after adding it, you will see that Test Case Studio logo is not there on the toolbar. So what you will have to do in Chrome these days, uh, like by default ex extension logo is not coming here. So you will have to pin it to toolbar. So 
So whichever plugin you want in the toolbar, just pin it to toolbar. Cool. So after installing it, I would uh, recommend either you restart your browser or whichever uh, or open your website in the new tab. So let's say we open google.com in the new tab. Now here we have to test something. Suppose search functionality we have to test of Google. So what we will do before starting our testing, simply just one click. Click on this test studio button here. That's all. And let it be there close. We'll show you see, uh, in some time. Now search here for let's say uh, we search for the test case studio and press enter. Let's see the magic here. So what all it has now the steps we have open website google.com enter in search what we entered test case studio then we press enter key. So it has recorded each and everything and you see that for every step it has recorded the X path and C selector wherever it was required. You can expand to read the complete content here like it is coming as so those who are already using it for them this is a new feature like you can expand now and here you have the expected result so here you can add the expected result like let's say after opening the website you want that uh, the title should be present or whatever any element should be present that you can add it here these are the new feature which has been added in this version 1.0.3 here you have xpath here you have css selector you can if you have missed any step let's say after this step you wanted to add some wait time before pressing the enter so you can add, add the wait time here if you want to delete you can delete this step as well that's very simple then if you want to uh, like download this test case you can download the test case it comes here if you will not set any name by default it will take the domain name and the timestamp for the file name if you want to give any file name you give the file name let's say demo and then you can download so here you can set the file name before downloading this test case before exporting this test case it also has the feature that like it is generating xpath and css selector but you want with the command like driver dot find element command like you have in selector sub so that also you can do just turn it on and it comes here you can change this command to anything let's say you are working with cypress and cy dot get and wherever you have written css selector just replace that with xpath value and hit enter you see that you got cy dot get and here is your css selector you can expand and see this so this is how you can easily get it whenever you doesn't want you can keep it off here you have all these columns like data expected result x bar css selector but many of you like there could be a chance that you are doing just manual testing or some testing where you doesn't want this x bar and css selector in that case you can customize the columns click to add and remove columns here let's say you doesn't want expected result you can remove it you doesn't want x path you can remove it you doesn't want CSS selector, you can keep it off. You want expect result, keep it on. And next time when you will open test case studio, it will open with this setting only. Like you will see these columns here. You will not find that xpath in CSS selector. That it will remember in the like it saves in your local your settings. So let me just close this. And now if you will open, you see that CSS selector xpath column is not there. So this is really helpful for you. Like it will remember your setting what you want next time so that it will not uh, like you will not have to do those settings again and again. If you want, you can just click here and add this again. As simple as that. Very user friendly. Also suppose uh, this is the default uh, view of test case studio when you will open first time it will open like this and if you doesn't uh, let's say it is generating some x path and css selector with some id or uh, like this it is generating with area label or some title or name and that 
you doesn't want with them so what you can do here there's a set attribute for xpath and css selector so if it is generating with text you can uncheck that text you doesn't want with if it is generating with id for your application id is dynamic then in that case you can uncheck the id so this way like when now when you will generate the selectors they will generate with your attribute filters here so this will really help you a lot you can also pause this uh, recording let's say uh, you doesn't you want to perform some action which you doesn't want to record them then you can pause it here now if you will click on anything here that it will not record here but again you want to resume you click on resume and now if you click here images click on videos you see that click on images click on videos has been captured here so this is very useful you can download this test case cool so we have seen all these now what is this delete button let's say you want to uh, start uh, you want to like record a new test case in that case you can click on this delete clear all steps you clear all step now again you can start your new test case let's say we want, we want to search for test case studio so as i have like we want to search for selector so press enter so here you see that open website this enter in search selector sub press enter key so this is your new test case has been recorded you can save this test case so this is how you can uh, save or like generate more test cases generate more steps you can uh, like if you find any issue at any point of time any found you found any bug then in that case you can re easily refer these steps and reproduce that bug so this is going to help you a lot to save a lot of time for you then uh, if you need any help or any support please let me know in the comment section any feature request or any improvement you require i would always recommend you please check out these footer links here change log you can check it here test case studio home page here always check this latest tutorial video here from here so also again i would request subscribe to the channel because most of the updates and everything related to my tools you will find on this selector sub youtube channel so please stay tuned for all the updates you can if you want to discuss something with me or with the selectors of test case studio community please join the telegram group or slack you can join i would request you please give a five star rating or let me know your thoughts about it let's share test case studio selectors of with everyone please add the review here this will really motivate me if you find any issue any bug or any improvement in test case studio please raise a ticket here on bagasura or you can also add it on github I would request you please donate for selector sub and test case studio these are the absolutely free plugin and i'm working 100 percent full time for the community so please support guys to keep growing these uh, tools and i can like so that i can provide more innovative tools and more better support for you guys so please donate be a patron this is the version number here you will find the version number that what is the latest version which you are using here whenever there is any new update comes you just right click on the test case studio logo here and click on manage extension to update the extension click on update this will update the extension also like if you want to use it in incognito mode here so there is a url uh, on the manage extension page allow in incognito mode allow in incognito mode so this way now if you will open incognito here you will find the test case studio logo and you can use it here as well so you can use it in incognito mode as well so i hope uh, you found it really useful please share it with community it's my humble request let everyone know about test case studio not everyone yet aware about it this is really really useful also uh, please like and share this video subscribe to the channel keep sharing keep loving and if you have any thought any uh, like review comment or any suggestion please do let me know it's available for all the browser absolutely free and also check out this page for any question you will find all the faqs here and any question you will be having you will get all the answers here on this page
related to test case studio and for that rest i will keep creating the more tutorial on it and any kind of issue or any kind of thing i will try to create as much as tutorials and content for you guys so with that thank you thank you so much keep supporting keep sharing keep loving thank you